I also think it's so cool with Richard Gas Monkey Garage. Literally, go back and watch it. If you haven't seen his episode, go back and watch it where he goes and buys this. This is his dream car. And he paid 200000 for his. His is in great condition. And to be here standing in front of one, Alpine White, it's, a, it's kind of a trip right now. Mike, master mechanic. Yes. You, you work on all the cars that are here? Yes. Walk us through what are we looking at underneath this one? Okay, what you're looking at right here, this is the lower section of the 440 engine with the six pack, 727 automatic transmission, all your torsion bars that are on here, brand new exhaust. And this is, a, wait, back. so what's original underneath here? What's original underneath here? Everything. Okay. Everything but the exhaust. Okay. The only thing that's been modified is the exhaust itself and the mufflers, but they're all updated to be original. All right. The whole underneath, this is a rotisserie <laughs> build. Yeah. And what I mean by that, they rotate the car so they can paint everything underneath. It gets ripped down to a bare shell. You're watching right now. If you can find any imperfection, drop it in the comments, because you're not going to find it. No, you're not going to find you're anything. You're not going to, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's just, I mean, if you look at it all the way back, it's just clean. Look up in underneath the inner fender wells. Mm -hmm. This is what I was saying when I first racked this car. I said, we can't even drive this down the street. Yeah. Heck, a rock chip take off right? 20 grand. Right, you know? right. But There's they no did markings a inside there. No, yeah. nothing. Could eat dinner off it. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's just a clean, clean right. All your brake lines, everything, everything they did, the fuel lines all the way back, your cables, anything to do with the e-brake system, it's, it's all been, it's all new. It's, it's perfect. But the detail of the car is just unbelievable. I mean, look at look at underneath the nose. Yeah, underneath that, the nose. Isn't is, that something? And this is how it, this is how it this came from the factory. This is how it was. This is how they came from the factory, yeah, every bit of it. This is us, this is our battery. Yeah, center, of course, so yeah. We don't, it's uh, not an electric car. We don't, yeah. <laughs> we don't have our batteries going But this down. guard right here, is that's, that's, that's all factory. That's all factory. This is all factory. This whole nose, the whole nose is aluminum. Okay. And they're, they're special built. There's a lot of guys that are trying to make these cars, but you'll find out that their nose is all fiberglass. This, this is, is all aluminum, aluminum yeah. though, all the way through. The whole, everything that you see. Front disc brakes, which are factory. These are the factory tire that's normally on the car, uh -huh. except for these are a remake. These, they're back in the day, they were polyglass tires. These are actually a radio tire made to look like the polyglass mm -hmm. tires. What's your stance when, because you know, doing the show, I'll say all original, and then you get people, the tires, the hoses, right. da, da, da. When it comes to saying all original, what are we talking about? What, as, as a car that's completely original, what is it in your mind? It's all, it's all matching numbers. Numbers, yeah. yeah. All matching it's numbers. It's a numbers game. Yeah. yeah. What it is. Yeah. Fluids and, and everything else, that could be changed out. Belts, yeah, wear and tear yeah. stuff can be correct. changed out. Right. It's still all original. Right. Yes. Engine transmission. The engine, the numbers match. The last six numbers on the engine are the same as the last six on, on the bin. bin. Mm -hmm. Transmission, bin. Rear differential or rear end, then matches yeah. it all. Those yeah. are that's what you want. Those three pieces, you want to be matching numbers to the body. Yeah. Couldn't say better. In other words, when this car was first built yeah. and came off the uh, manufacturer's line, mm -hmm. let's say it was a number one car. Yeah. It just rolled off. Well, when it rolled off, it had this rear end, mm -hmm. this transmission. Mm -hmm and this engine was in it mm -hmm. when it came off the line yeah. brand new back in 1970. Yeah. I would add too for that, the color, exterior color yeah. and interior color are a big thing for us too. Yeah. Yeah. If it's and the wrong color wrong. in the interior, yeah. something's a little off. So you'll watch that too, look we'll at that, yeah. Yes. And this is, be the right we, uh, we said what, seven colors for this? Yeah. yeah. Yep. We were in Texas one year and we were looking at this beautiful blue Roadrunner. I thought, <laughs> man, that's nice. I popped the hood, it's got a 440 with a six pack. I look inside, four speed car. I said, oh yeah. I go, Josh, this is the car, man. Let's get this. Yeah. He goes, let's run this numbers plate here real quick and let's mm -hmm. see what it consists of. Yeah. It had the wrong engine. It had the wrong transmission in it. Wrong color. Wrong color, wrong interior. So it you guys walked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we wrong, don't look at it. Wrong, wrong, yeah. wrong, wrong, so we didn't even touch it. Mm -hmm. 
the car still sold for 160. I'm sure right. it did. Right. It did. Sure Somebody did. bought it that didn't know. Correct. Uh, yeah. Correct. We yeah. Gotta be, do your research, and we guys are yeah. smart car guys. Yeah. And the, there's more. There's VIN. Uh, it's you find one. There's a, a front and in the trunk too. You these? you have a. I can show you something on the trunk that'll that'll pretty much blow your mind. But anyhow, <laughs> up underneath the hood here mm -hmm. is a special plate mm -hmm. with a bunch of numbers and letters yeah. on it. Show them the plate. Yeah. So right there. So okay. right here. Mm -hmm. That would be your fender tag. There's multiple websites for Mopar fending fender tag decoding. So we'll go plug it into a website and we follow. So the last on the very bottom line here, mm -hmm. you'll start from that RM23 all the way to the end. That's the VIN. And then you start your decoding process here, goes all the way up, and then you hit enter on the Mopar Fender Tag decoder and, and it populates everything that it should be. Is there a second, is there a VIN underneath here too? They're actually on a lot of these, it's probably under the sticker, uh -huh. but there's normally a VIN number on here, and that would be a radiator support. Believe it or not, it's under the sticker. Mm -hmm. Let me get the keys and open the trunk. And, I'll and are these stickers, here. like this sticker right here, is that original sticker? Yes, correct. Correct. There we go. Okay, now normally, right here, oh, you can barely see it, yeah. but there's some numbers right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, it's got so much paint on it that they're partially covered. Well, that number should match this number over here because it has one too. What that lets you know, if this car has ever been in a bad enough accident mm -hmm. and they had to replace a quarter panel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because this number that's on here should match yep. the number over here. And if it doesn't, there you are, done deal. But yeah. Uh, the final thing to show you inside too, up here. This is the jack instructions, yeah. all original yeah. as well. All that good stuff. And over here, tells you where to place it. See, what a lot of people don't realize, the, the race car, the Daytona, yeah. when they were racing these cars, now, at 200 miles an hour, you were getting 3,000 pounds of down pressure on mm. this wing pushing the car down, keeping it down and sturdy. So as they're going through the turns, it's just doing nothing but tracking really good. Well, to show you something, if you look at all the supports and everything, they go all the way down to the frame of the car uh -huh. because of that much down pressure. The Daytona over there was the first car to do over 200 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And everybody says, hey, what are these little scoops on the fenders? Yeah. Okay, well, on the Daytona, you put your hand in there, you'll feel it. What they had to do, because of the, the way the, the nose was designed, as soon as they got over 200 miles an hour, it pushed the front of the car down so low mm -hmm. that the tires started rubbing. Oh. So what they had to do is they had to cut it big four-inch holes in here, uh -huh. which you can see on the Daytona, because that's the car they were racing. Yeah. And what that did is that relieved enough air pressure to keep it from coming down and rubbing on the tires. Now, this being in 1970, they said, hey, we gotta make it look like the Daytona, so let's put the scoops on here. Well, of course, these are dummy scoops, but that's the way they did it from the manufacturer. We see real fast over here. If you come back over here and you look up inside, matter of fact, you can put your hand up in there, and let me get a little light right here, but you look up in there yeah. and you can see them. That's the real deal in there. Yeah, <laughs> and the reason they put these guys on there is because the guy came out and says, hey, I don't want my race cars going around the track with holes in the, yeah. in the fenders. He goes, what the hell is that? Uh -huh. So they said, okay, let's do this. And that's where the design came And then over there is just Michelle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hopefully the smell. Mm -hmm. This has been, uh, I mean, visually so cool to see it. History. History it's as history. well. Yeah, this has been a special treat and we can follow, follow the journey down to Barrett Jackson on these cars as well. That's gonna be a trip to see what happens for you guys down at Barrett Jackson to see this cross the block. I can't wait to see it happen. Yeah, and you'll probably see 10 I, or 12 new cars here I, in a few mean, weeks. Yeah. yeah, we'll come back. To yeah, that. right. <laughs> well, Mike, thank you for your time. Oh, hey, I appreciate anytime. it. And this was uh, Isaac, man. Thank appreciate you so much, it. man. Thanks this has been out. this has been a blast. And, and best of luck with this car and all the other cars going to, to Barrett Jackson. We'll Mike. be watching. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. Com. That's cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections.